Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I posted on YouTube. I think back in November 2019, I says I was taking a little break to concentrate on my health and yeah, that turned into a longer break, mainly due to COVID, obviously I wasn't doing out anywhere, I was shielding, so there wasn't really anything to film from my YouTube. So I thought I would just do a little life update. Um, the main thing that I have to update on is, as you can see, my background's a bit different from what it was previously. I moved out into my own flat in December 2020, so that was very exciting and a big life uh, stone life chapter for me. So yeah, I live in my own flat uh, with my terrors and uh, just adapting to adult life really. Another big thing that happened last year was that I got a puppy. So I now live in my flat with Sheldon, my 10 month old Sprudel. He's a Springer Spaniel and a Poodle. So, yeah, I thought today I would just do a kind of day in the life with my puppy sort of thing. We're going to go for a walk this afternoon because I need to film uh, and take photos for an advert that I'm doing on YouTube, Instagram all platforms really. So I thought I'd take you along with me. Uh, Sheldon is great with my wheelchair, great with everything, but when I'm getting up in the morning I just have a crate that he goes into. He sleeps in there at night as well. So I'll insert some footage here of me seeing him when I got up this morning. As you can see he's very excitable to see me in the morning. Um, he does usually do with a dog water during the week, but because I need to film this footage, take photos, I want him to be with me for that, so he's coming along, along with me today. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how this goes for my first YouTube video, uh, back on a journey in my wheels. I'm not sure how much footage I'll get or how much they'll be talking to the camera. As I said, back in November 2019, I was getting really breathless and my health, I was a bit worried about it. That hasn't really changed. I'm still extremely breathless, breathless sorry. You can probably hear it in my voice. But I just want something else to focus on now. I still worked with you inside. And I love doing that and I um, took some time off uh, obviously during the main part of COVID but I'm back with them now and yeah I just want other things to concentrate on, on as well. So now that I'm getting out and about again I want to try start doing my YouTube. I took a break from Instagram. I'm back on there now as well. Uh, so We'll see how this goes. I won't be posting regularly or anything like that, but I do want to try and get back in it. So let's head out for a walk in that Dundee waterfront with Sheldon and my tailor, and we'll see where the day takes us. There's a dead boy lying there with us doing my filming. You dead boy, don't do what is. Are we don't do what is? Don't do it for what? You come in? Come on in. Dead boy. So leaving the house with Sheldon, the first challenge is getting his leads on. He loves going out for a walk but we're still needing to do some training so he doesn't mind us attaching his leads. So I'm just distracting him with his treats here whilst my terror gets his leads. Then she'll attach 
onto his harness and he has to wear a halty lead around his nose because he likes to pull when you're out for a walk. Um, it's more obviously I don't want him pulling my tears too much but also just now as you'll see in a second I sometimes take him on my chair when we're out for a walk. Um, his halty lead just gets attached to where my handbag goes and as you can see at the back here the long one that's attached to my handlebar at the opposite side just as it's a bit long. But this ties nicely into my sponsor for today's video, Paths for All. Did you know May is National Walking Month? And Paths for All, which is Scotland's national walking charity, are encouraging us to share why we enjoy going out for walks so much and how it improves our mental health. So, like everyone, at the start of the pandemic, I went out for walks nearly every day, when weather permitted. But when I moved out, I got into a bit of a rut and I didn't go out for as many walks because I didn't really know the routes around my new area. The pavements were very narrow and the dip curves, which fellow wheelchair users will understand, didn't match up. So it was just very stressful. But since sitting Sheldon in August 2021, I feel I need to do it for a lot. It gives me a purpose on days that I really don't want to do much. He gets me going, gets me out the house. And yeah, I feel we're more connected when he's attached to my chair. We have to listen to each other. He has to pay attention to where I'm going. I have to pay attention to him. And yeah, I enjoy it, taking him out for a walk like this. We sometimes pack a pack lunch and just go out and enjoy the great outdoors. As you can see, Sheldon is having the time of his life, uh, doing me all the tisses. Uh, but it's very difficult to find pathways that obviously are accommodating for our specific needs and that's why Pass for All is really good because on their website they have different walk areas that are suitable for different requirements. So they have walks on their website that include but are not limited to accessible walks, health walks and dementia friendly walks. And it's I'll link the website down below and hopefully you can enjoy some great outdoors this year, this summer, uh, because Walton is fun, free and enjoyable for everyone if you find the right area. I mean, look at Sheldon. He is having the time of his life. He just met a new friend there and he enjoys so socialising with all the dogs. Um, so I, I, I look forward to lots, lots more walks with him uh, this summer. Now, I apologise there is no outro to this video. I got really breathless with the wind when we were out and actually you can hear it in my voice now. I'm quite breathless just now. So, yeah, I just wanted to end this video here and say thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like for walks this summer, please feel free to tag me in your favourite walks. Sheldon and I would love to find new places to visit this year.